evening, the Alabama Department of Public Health is warning if protesters aren't careful, we could see a spike in coronavirus cases. With 31's Casey Albritton is live at the Madison County Courthouse where a protest happened on Monday. She learned what state health officials are recommending. Casey. Hundreds of people gathered right here in front of the Madison County Courthouse, unable to social distance. Now, the Alabama Department of Public Health released a statement asking protesters to use masks and try to stay six feet apart from each other. The Alabama Department of Public Health is very disturbed about the death of Mr. George Floyd, and we recognize the right of persons to assemble for peaceful protest. Dr. Karen Landers works with the Alabama Department of Public Health. She says being so close to so many people during a protest could spread the coronavirus quickly. This is a very serious virus, and it's a very serious illness and it's still in our community. The department released a statement on Tuesday asking people to take precautions while protesting. Certainly a grave concern that persons can develop COVID-19 from being in a large group of people. She says if people choose to hold hands during protests and come in contact with each other, they should use hand sanitizer as much as possible. Adhere to social distancing to keep respiratory hygiene in the forefront and also wear cloth face coverings. I did reach out to the governor's office to see if a spike in coronavirus cases could delay the next phase of reopening the state. And I'll let you guys know as soon as I hear back. Reporting live in Huntsville, Casey Albright and Way 31 News.